welcome back nail queens today i am unboxing the monthly mystery box by mccart it is their nail lab monthly nail box and it has a bunch of different products it can range from acrylic charms nail art dip powder gel there's a lot of stuff that comes in these so here i am unboxing the august box First thing that I have in here are the all-in-one acrylic and dip powders. I think these are new to their company, a two-in-one. There's Sugar and Fig and Bite Me. I am going to be using these today in the manicure. They also included some glitters and little charms and stuff and stickers. So that's really cool. I know the one I got in June had a really big charms. So I was like, mm, I don't know if I can use those. So these look a lot smaller and usable for me. Also, they have two gorgeous gel polishes, Latte and Cockatoo Peach. So I have a feeling based on the names, like the Cockatoo and the Charms, it's more like a feathery, like Parrot Paradise kind of themed box. So that was like a yellowy nude that matches the dip powder perfectly. And this is more of a pinky nude, which is tends to be the kind of nudes that I wear on myself that I really like. I have very pink undertones, so those show up well on me. And it came with a gel base and a nail dehydrator, which you can never have enough of these two. These stickers are a dead giveaway for the theme that they're going for. As you can see, there's these tropical theme with birds and these charms right here, like these wooden little charms, also have the theme, same theme as the stickers and the feathers here. So I like that there's things that are very themed in this box, but also things that are not so themed but would help if you wanted to do nail art to go with it, such as these glitter mixes here. These are really nice and colorful, so if you're not ready for fall, this is a great option and variety. However, I am kind of a little bit ready for fall. So the mani that I'm going to be doing today is a sunflower design. I'm going to be using the two-in-one acrylic as dip powder. So I'm applying dip base on my press-on nails and I'm going to be dipping in those. For those who don't know, I've been using press-ons lately for content creating, but I am going back to jelly tips for a short little while until my um, obligations start to pick up again. I really do love wearing jelly tips, but I also think press-on nails are so fun. So right now my left hand is going to be for press-ons and my right hand is going to have my my jelly tips because I love both. I can't give them both up. I know it's so weird, but whatever. It's what I want to do right now. So three of the nails are going to be the blue and two of the nails are going to be this nude color. I am kind of fast forwarding through the dipping process because it is redundant, but I also want to show you guys that you totally can dip on press-ons and have them not be too thick or too bulky. I showed you guys earlier that I was using the triple vitamin dip liquids. I just happen to have a set in my collection, so I pulled them out. They are known for being thin dip liquids, so I think that's what makes the world of a difference on making your press-ons looking thin versus thick is using thinner liquids. I know that Manny Boss, um, Triple Vitamin, Triple D, those are brands that I know who have thin liquids. I think Dipalicious also has thinner liquids. So I'm just throwing out some options out there in case you're in the market for thin dip liquids to do press-ons with. So I'm done dipping, now I need to dust everything off and apply activator, so the step two that hardens the dip powder, and then file, shape, and buff, which I will be doing off camera. So here are the blue ones are all done and they are top coated as well. The nude ones, I'm going to be doing some nail art on them, I'm so excited. McCart sent over these liner gel polishes. I'm going to be using those plus some other gel polishes in my collection that I feel like match this blue pretty well. So this blue is from Madame Glam, and I'm also going to be using some Nail Reserve gels as well. Both of those companies have really high pigmented gel polishes that you can do really good nail art with. So I'm using this liner brush that I got off of Amazon. They, I, it came, I forget how many 
brushes it came with, but it was quite a bit and they've been working great. So I'm doing my little waterfall style that I really like and I'm just doing two blue lines on the nail and I'm trying to make it look like it was like paint brushed on, so paint brush strokes. So it has to be pretty imperfect. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other nail. So remember, two of the nails are having nail art done on them. And then when I'm done with the blue lines, I put it in my nail lamp and I let those cure. You can flash cure or fully cure your choice. It doesn't really matter. And now I'm going to pull out that yellow liner gel brush thing. And this is actually a reflective gel. I think the glitter in it really makes all the world of a difference on how this design is turning out so far. So I'm using that reflective gel and I'm putting a little bit here and there trying to space things out. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the second nail. Now I'm taking like the creamier yellow nude gel polish that was in the box and I'm going to do just I think one or two lines and fill in the blanks. So here I'm going to put a, like a thicker strip down the center more to the right of where there no there is no gel polish right there. So and then on the far right I'm just trying to fill in any blank spaces that might be here. Um, it really matches the dip powder, so it almost like did nothing, but I'm still doing it for a good measure because I plan on doing some art on top of the gel polish lines. All right, so I'm gonna cure that, and then I'm gonna use a mustardy yellow to do some sunflowers. So that's exactly what I wanted to do, which is why I have like the golden tones, and I'm doing it with the blue. I really like those two colors together. So I'm going to use this little brush I got here in that kit I was mentioning, the brush art kit thingy, and I'm just going to do a bunch of petals. So obviously it's not going to be true to life on what sunflowers actually really look like. I'm just kind of like winging it. It's going to look like a traditional flower, but I am going to add accents of brown into this. So it's really going to pull the sunflower theme all together. Now that the petals have cured, I'm going to use a brown polish. I don't really think it matters like what tone you go for, but I have this brown polish and I'm going to use a dotting tool to put the center of the petals, like the flower, so make it really look like a sunflower because the inside of the sunflowers tend to be brown. So I'm going to do that on both of the nails that I'm doing. Of course, if you wanted a different flower, you can do like white centers. And then I'm gonna use a smaller dotting tool and I'm just gonna do little designs where I put that nude polish. So I'm going for like an animal print style over the nude polish. And on the blue polish, I'm just gonna do tiny little dots. So I like having all these different like designs going on. It makes it really fun, adds some accent and really throws in like I don't know, some inter something interesting that really draws your eye to it. So I'm going to do that on this nail and on the next one. Okay, so everything is cured and top coated. I am so excited about how this all turned out. I can't wait to put them on. So, ta-da! Here are my press-ons all pressed on and here is a daylight picture the next day. I love this! All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you liked the manicure. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye!